Hello, Divine Sunshine. This is Divine Sunshine coming to you with your uh, this week's Divine Masculine um, channeled message um, for you all. Um, just with these energies, I know that really we're kind of like, I guess we're getting ready for the lion's gate and we're finding ourselves purging and doing a lot of things this week uh, as far as energy wise. I know with me, I've lost uh, kind of like energy wise. I have my ups and my downs so like, yeah. And like I told my mom, I said, you know, it feels like even my cells in my body are like tired for whatever is purging and getting rid of. I know even on the DM side, he's going through some things. Look like he's really kind of actually like fighting some things. He's up to like early in the morning um, thinking as well. So um, about things that I was like, why is that on your mind? And it's like, you know, it's like, oh my God, you think about those things? So really some shifting and some movement going on even in the divine masculines as well so me i think it's more physical and i think him is more so mental spiritual so i think if we were to put a comparison the divine feminines are experiencing something in the physical while uh the divine masculine is uh, is experiencing something in the spiritual it's a spiritual change and shift of things as well. Very quickly, I remember this Saturday will be my last uh, webinar. This one will be on Bring Me High Love, where I talk about how to uh, we kind of keep our high vibrations of love and how to attract love as well. So make sure you hear my uh, start is at 11 a.m. Central uh, this Saturday live. Also, uh, my t-shirts, Be Design, uh, Be Divine Design t-shirts as well. Um, I have also, look on the community, my community tab, I have where if you're interested in buying one of my shirts that say DM plus DF or uh, either the, the, with the Divine uh, Unisoul's logo on it as well, the shirt uh, as well, that is uh, also, that's thirty dollars of this is and then also i am selling my divine uh unisoul's oracle cards uh these are thirty three dollars these are fifty four it comes fifty four in a pack fifty four of these very good these are made of inspired by sayings from the dm from my mom from my dad uh even her mother who was also gifted as well um some sayings in there and sayings for me as well are in this pack so it's the divine oracle um divine unisoul's oracle cards 54 dollars that's 33 dollars uh that does not include shipping or um and handling cost on that uh if you're interested in that make sure you hit me up and go to my website www.divineunisoul's11 uh, com there or if you want to you just you could also hit me up on my email divine uh the uh, divine unisouls 11 uh, at gmail.com you can hit me there too and I, as soon as I get your invoice you let me know what size what color uh, I will send you an invoice uh, for that information as well uh, is there anything else uh, don't forget also at the end since this is near the end 8 8 will be the end of my uh, early bird special on getting my uh, package uh, to lead is to be divine package which consists of all of the series of webinars that I have had and plus the PowerPoints and an ebook and a prayer meditation uh, as well especially for the inner child because that's the thing that so that would be all in there that would be 1717 before uh, the 8, 8 August 8th the Lions Gate once it opens up after that it's going to be 2222 so make sure that you uh take advantage of that as well this is a new adventure uh those of you all that are very serious about getting there uh pretty much that inner child one uh you've seen also it has been also um supported and pretty much used also in the, the educational playlist and helping uh, others on even Jupiter 11 11's channel um, also as well so uh, it's good stuff in my webinars uh, and so 
Um, I've had everybody after class, some people say it has been life-changing on some of the webinars, especially the inner child one. If not, you need to go back and kind of revisit that, okay? I think, all right, we're heading on 5 o'clock, I mean 5 minutes on 5 o'clock, it's way past that. So let's get into the reading. Let me put my glasses on so I can see. I got my sage going here, so just making sure there is no other kind of others trying to show up in here and show out. <laughs> Nothing but the DM. Did I just say nothing but the DM? <laughs> nothing but the DM. And he shows up. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. All right, then. So, let's see what this week's reading. Uh, I'm going to get goofy face now. <laughs> okay. So, now. Nah. Uh, let's look into it real quick. Uh, let's start off with this. What is going on? I say, and the DM is invited, and DM appears in the 3D. <laughs> Cliff. Okay, so now let's see what's going on. That's what's happening with the vibrations here. Let's get an update here. Midday update, hump day, hump day, because when you see it, it'll be Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. Although I'm doing this Tuesday. So what's going on with the divine masculine? <laughs> what you doing? I'm trying. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, that says like you. <laughs> what you doing? I'm trying. I'm tired. Okay. <laughs> Those are the things that he's doing. Okay. Let's see. Let's go a little deeper. Clear. Can you clarify about what you're doing to be... <laughs> I keep myself busy with the things I do, but every time I pause, I still think of you. All I do is think of you. Day and night, that's all I do. I can't get you off my mind. Think about you all the time. All the time. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I can't wait to get... Some eat school these days, something like that. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's it. Here we go. And okay, this is for I'm trying, and let's see, let's clarify for I'm tired. Clear. Tuesday, my heart is in your hand. And, uh, e -e -e -e. So, what are you gonna do? You know, the hey, little toe girl. Yeah, I do whatever. All right, here we go. I'm trying to clarify that. What does that mean? My heart never knew loneliness until you walked away. I am missing you. I won't give up on you, so don't give up on me. So I'm trying. All oh, this is but them them cards is bad. I'm not. I pop my collar on them. One of them divine. You got to get these oracles. They 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 have life. They give you life. <laughs> I'm tired. Okay, what does this mean? You are the glow that lights up my life, which lets me know even though I'm tired, you are my strength. Although I got that card and say I made a mistake now. I'm living with the consequences. I regret it. I really do. Okay, let's look and see. How he get through and I put the, the don't disturb me on here. And he got through my thing. Ain't this about nothing? Clear. Okay, let's see what's in the heart space of the DM. Playfulness. Oh, he feeling frisky. No, <laughs> let me stop before you turn this thing on. <laughs> Hit me on three days. Let me stop. Okay, so to recapture romance, allow your inner youthfulness spirit of fun to shine. Okay, so let's go on here. <laughs> Clear. Explain. Lucy, you got some explaining to do. Okay, playfulness. He says he wants playfulness because it's chaos and conflict. So right now, he's trying to really... Um, 
he's trying to recruit to me it's like he's saying that in, in, in the youthfulness but to me it's like that I go to a time where I didn't was so heavy in the burden about what's going on in my situation right now so it's like really I'm trying to find the ebb and flow of things especially even I'm saying even where I'm thinking also with my uh my feelings and my emotions as well so i'm trying to just really kind of go with the swing of things okay uh and so by although it's chaos all around me it's chaotic but i'm still trying to find some playfulness you know it's like all work and no play makes a dull boy at play it, 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 you know at play or whatever it is like that so he feels like at this point it's like i gotta do you know some things to kind of like distraction but then also just find the lighter sides because sometimes you be so heavy and stuff sometimes you're like i just gotta find me some breaks i gotta find me a break in this okay treasure island okay so right now he's like I said, trying to discover himself. Although he's in this water, which is like I'm really kind of in the center of all my emotions going on. But at the same time, I'm trying to, trying to find discovering myself. Just kind of like, like, what is this inside of me? 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 Like I'm pulling things out and it's coming out of me as well. While I'm dealing with, you know, just sitting really into... <laughs> While I'm sitting right there in, in the midst of my emotions as well. Uh, also, we have like w with the the turtle here, which means I'm slowly kind of moving, slowly moving along as well. And so he's like, really, he's getting progress, unearthing these things about himself, kind of like, what is this? I almost feel like it's like a magician pulling things out the hat and all these little handkerchiefs and stuff. And he's like, you know, I'm slowly doing this, making these big reveals about myself, kind of getting rid of some of these things. And so that's what's going on as far as this playfulness. To me, when I get playfulness, I look like he's looking like he's trying to make, I'm trying to make myself light. Although I'm in the midst of this drama, I'm still trying to find things to make things light about some things. Hold on one second. It's me. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on one second. Uh. Okay, so that's what he's feeling. Bear with me. He going through a little kind of something. So I'm kind of like trying to. So it's going to be some breaks in between there. Because I don't want him to. While well, I'm trying to help him get together. Okay. Uh, next thing that we have. It's not breaking. Matter of fact. He's intensifying what I'm feeling. Okay. So we got this here. Next thing I want to do is to look into. What is it that he's uh, hiding at this point? It's something that we. Okay. Yeah, what's what's hiding? What's clear? What is he hiding? What's in the shadows? What is he hiding? He don't want you to know. What doesn't he want you to know? What does the DM want you to know? This again, this card just came out before. It's like so for right now, the way things look on the outside. It looks bad, but at the same time, you don't know what behind the scenes, what it means and what its purpose is. So right now you look at this and say, oh, that's the ill-fated Snow White scene. And you don't know, you think, oh, they going to give him, a, give her a poison apple. And when actually what's going on is, is that this person, she was hungry and this might just be an older person giving the apple. It's our perspective. It's the illusion of things. We don't know what's going on. Uh, and so it looks like maybe to us, like, oh, well, you know, they in it, they ain't never going to get out of it, like they faded, like they supposed to suffer. But again, it's according to our illusions of things. We don't know what purpose, by them being in a situation, what purpose does it actually serve them, okay? Let's go a little deeper and see as well. I don't think somebody would have told me. 
All right, Connor, let's get into it a little bit more clear. Can you give us, DM, can you tell us what's going on with you? Five cards, please. Five cards, please. Two more. Okay, so what we got here, we have bad health, courthouse, main male, false person, thief, and child. Okay, so now, what's going on is this, is that right now he's at the point that, the, like I said, I'm going through something with the DM. He feels that right now he needs to concentrate on the divine feminine and he needs your strength you know he needs he's looking to you to kind of help him make be well at this point he's going through some things and um is maybe also coming up to being like physically like he's getting some ailments that's also coming up with and so he's really looking to you for some guidance so that's why i told you all this week all the way to eight eight you know we're doing the the, the situations fast where we're not looking at them to see what they are in their situation. We just going to really take a blank at it. And just like right now we're concentrating on ourselves. We concentrate on them. Or if they can't do. If we can't think of nothing positive with them. Then we ain't positive in them. Do we doing everything within ourselves. To distract ourselves. To just concentrate on. Not on the situation that's going on with them. And that's kind of helping them. You know they can kind of feel it's kind of drawing them. Onto you more so than them to the situation because you're not you're allowing them time to think what kind of way they're trying to strategize like some of these channels they've been saying they strategize and try to get out the situation because it shows that he's strategizing because again right here we got the courthouse card here when I look at that that lets me know even he feels it's some kind of thing he feels like he needs to get justice on something he feels like he needs to go appeal on some things which is like uh, to me I picture I see like the divine master there and saying like you know like I, I'm gonna go one more time to, to the powers that be and see maybe in some kind of way I could get some early re reprieve or uh, early appeal to get out of this because uh, I think it really I, my time is served <laughs> and so I'm thinking I done did everything that I can at this point and I don't really feel like I need to kind of be in this situation any longer uh, and so right now he's kind of getting some justice about some things. Maybe also I'm picking up him is like he's saying about the law. Uh, you know, the universe is ran by law. And so to me, uh, that's how I was raised pretty much in my church and principles, you know, everything, universal laws and things of that nature. And he might be saying, you know what, I'm kind of really kind of going over some things like how am I obeying some of the, the things, universal things, the principles and the laws that govern our universe. I am I, have I been doing anything that's been wrong on that? Uh, let me look at the situations about some things that I got to learn. Uh, how have I been going about doing that? Have I broken any kind of rules as I'm going about doing that? So this is what it looks like to be. This is like, it reminds me like when I was down in Atlanta, I had to, I had one class was business law and I had to go down to Atlanta courthouse all the time and look up different laws. I mean, cause this lawyer, I'm like, hell, I'm here for fashion design. What the hell? I'm going down here to the damn courthouse all the time. But this man was about, he's like, you know, you got to know the law. So he ain't making us going down there. Like we was true. They going bona fide certified lawyers. I'm going down there emptying my book bag and everything. They checking me, make sure I ain't got no guns going through the metal detective and, uh, detector and all that stuff. So he was serious. I mean, I'm sitting along there in the library looking at all these daggone long books and all this stuff. And so something about this reminds me. It's like, let me go back and kind of like review my life and kind of like really see about how have I been really, have I been abandoned the law? Have I been breaking some rules? Man, left and right. I mean, this has been a regular century of everybody calling. Every day we get on here. This is spirit. So this is, if you confess the Lord, call him up. Do, 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 do. If you confess the Lord, call him up. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so we really here. I change the Raphael every time we on this. So I'm, I must really be saying I'm getting spiritual confirmation. 
And I'm speaking truth on that. So he's going down there and he's really reviewing himself about some things in life of how he's really, really pertain to laws. I'm not going to call it the other word because we really going on fast. I'm going to try not to use that other word that you know what I'm saying. It comes after J, starts with a whatever, and we're moving on. So this is what he's looking at right now. Uh, he's really studying that. He's really trying to find his way to get into being the main male here. Uh, it, 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 where he is, although where he's standing there don't look too confident. I mean, you know, it's kind of airy, it's kind of open, it's kind of dark uh, to me when I look in his background. Uh, however, it's got like pictures of family and things like that. So it's got a setup that's supposed to be home, and he's the center of it right now. He's trying to get really enlightenment, but the lightning is behind him. It's not in front of him. It's not lighting his path. We also have next card, which is the false card, false person. So really, whatever this person that he wants to actually become, which is the divine person, he's really looking at all these things karmically. Uh, no, sorry, slip. Sorry. He's looking at himself, what he's doing in the laws. And we said, I'm just saying not his situation. So let me not bind myself on that because I might have new rise and say, well, what's he talking about? He's looking at the karmic uh, thing here, situation where he is, the laws have he bought some things karmically by being situations, person, place, a thing. How that plays a part there. Well, how has that made him become into a false person by being in certain situations? So I say that this person right here represents a karmic situation which keeps on fanning the flames to keep on saying, you know, just burn like he could go down in, in, in flames. Like he's going to go down in flames by continuing to keep on this facade that he's in. He, again, also feels like being in whatever this karmic situation that it is with the person, place, or thing. Not in that way. He feels like something is being stolen by him. He feels like there's something being stolen by being in this situation. He feels also that some about in his childhood there, his inner child is at play and is maybe tugging and trying to get his attention. He feels like some kind of way by being in it is like it's still in time. It's some, it's some, some real time that could be spent here. And also, again, his enlightenment, his path is being lit behind him, but really the direction he's going is not in the path of which is bringing him enlightenment. It's taking him away from him being in enlightenment. And he also feels like he has uh, this child. Now, this, I got a fork of the road feeling with this. It could be a child involved with this situation. He feels that very much is a very focus of his attention in which he's got to really kind of look at and see uh, either it's either healing the inner child wound that he has within himself so he could become pure or either in this situation he wants to after he finished going through all this stuff he wants to become back pure again pure at heart uh having that kind of like fantasy uh those like imaginary like how he is to become back a child again clean slate vulnerable innocence back to that purity again before all this other junk went down start off with a clean slate so that's what i'm saying so if there's children involved he feels like he got to protect that that's the center of what was going on with him if it's not children involved he feels that also he's got to go back to a state of being vulnerable in a sense starting off with a clean slate okay that is that one um let's see the mcnasty cards Hold on one second. All right, let's look at the McNasty cards. Thank you for your patience. Clear. Okay, this probably just be 30. <laughs> let's look at the McNasty cards. Ooh. Ooh. All right. We got this one, which is Knight 
of chalices. Uh oh, somebody nighting up here. Ooh, you know what he look at? He look, got his aim on. Chalices, ten of chalices. Uh oh, wait a second. Okay. And knave of chalices. So we in the cups. This is love, 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 exciting and new. Come aboard. We're expecting you, the love boat. Soon you will be making another run. The love boat. Trying to admit you for everyone. <laughs> Love style. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Okay, let's look. Chalices. I don't know. Just bear with me, but I'm not going to stop because I already started this. And I want to start all over again. Okay, let's look. Chalices. Do, 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 do. All right, the night of chalices is modesty. The magic of the red candle is awareness of oneself and sexuality, born of shame or discretion. Without encounters with others, you cannot find yourself. Okay, so right now to me, as soon as they say you cannot find yourself, it's like him being in the situation that he's in. He has to be up in this situation because of the, the karmic situation because it helped him to find himself, which helped him to lead himself to find himself to you. And although right now you're here, you're naked, you don't have anything on, and because of him being in that situation, it helped you to become more vulnerable, okay? It's like I'm shedding out all this stuff and getting rid of this inner child issues that I'm having. I'm getting rid of all this stuff with other exes from Texas. I'm getting rid of all this other kind of stuff. And now when you come to me, I'm going to be stripped down bed to just... just but naked, just myself, not no extra facades and extra because I know better than that. And he's been off wherever, and so, like I said, he's nighting up, he's worrying up, and he's making his way towards you. Okay, 10 of chalices. Next one, 10 of chalices. Uh, the attachment, seriously, okay, don't look like the big one, okay. The attachment, the magic of the chalice, the attachment between partners orients the relationship towards continuing, con continuing, continuity and continuity, sorry, continuity, and it is necessary to form a happy family. Yeah, ten of cents, okay. But he looked like he kind of walking away, though. He, what, uh, but he's saying it's come together. Uh, is he going over there to go get something else to eat? No, he is going. He walking towards the cup. I'm sorry, misunderstanding. Because the cup is right here. Okay. But really, to me, he looked like he got his eyes on the prize. He looked like, to me, he going to pass that. Here, so... It may not look like he's going towards that cup here. She's offering something to him. He looking like he like, nah, my mind ain't on that. Now, this could be somebody else. I'm not going to mention who this is. And uh, he's saying, nah, uh-uh, that's, that's all right. I got my eyes on the prize. Maybe uh, to me, with him having his sights of getting better of himself, so like the eyes on the prize is they're having a better form of himself, Seems like it's going to help him to pass that cup of love that he needs to get. And then he's on his way to uh, to his eyes on price, which is material things, like you're bringing in abundance and stuff. And he's going to keep on going towards opening the gate. Like I think about that card that's talking about the opening the gate up to his personal, um, his personal, oh God, I can see that thing. His personal, his own value, opening his personal growth and spirituality. I can see that card is in here. 
this is what it's going to do the garden and gate which opens up to his own spirituality so him walking away from this situation because she looks very tempting that's all i'm gonna say and i heard something pop so that's confirmation so he's gonna walk while he's aiming for this eyes on the prize and opening up the gate of the to the way to his own personal growth and spirituality the garden at the gate himself he's gonna pass by that cup of love he's gonna get that cup of love because he's on his way to that on his way to the eyes of the prize which is with material getting abundance which is going to help him open up this doorway to his own personal and spiritual growth okay opening that up okay and then the next one is nave nave of chalices jealousy oh snap wait a second oh go hold it hold it hold it hold it this sucker look a knave jealousy the magic of the ink doubts are slinking along in the distance you must find a way to communicate and meet in spite of the considerable distance okay so in his thinking uh he getting a little doubtful i ain't even gonna say no jealous on that now if some of you all in some kind of other kind of relationship maybe so or he think you in some kind of relationship or you're spending too much time not on him or whatever it is that's giving him the, the impression that you have somebody else then uh yeah i'm seeing this black cat here again so some kind of way to me uh you you to me is not saying i ain't got nobody i'm just being flexible with, with the cards that have been dealt no pun intended it's like i'm just making it all right and to you on the outside divine master it seems like i might got somebody else like i ain't got no time because i don't have no time because i'm concentrating on myself giving you an impression that it's somebody else in, in, in the picture but there ain't nobody in the picture so he getting upset look like he might have uh, i'm gonna say seen something communicated maybe a post on facebook something written or something like that and gave him the impression of that he on it to one of these tangents here and like oh i should text her they give up a piece of my mind maybe that's for some that's not for all of them but he's got him really thinking on some things and then this like in the back back of his mind he's thinking That's confirmation. And he's thinking, uh, maybe this is illusion. This is all illusion. This is all up in his head. That's all he's thinking, 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 thinking. Thoughts. Or he's thinking this as well in a good way. And he's like, oh, it's just the illusion. It's just my imagination once again. Running away with me. It was just my imagination running away with me so that's what he's thinking okay um that part but on the jealousy part like i said uh i'm picking up as well is that these doubts is kind of creeping in and you must find a way in, to communicate and meet in spite of the considerable distance for you divine feminists that are watching this i would say what you have to do is to just make sure that you kind of communicate like i'm doing i say i gotta communicate i gotta kind of right he going through this whatever he's going through patch uh you also think think love to him you say well i ain't communication i don't talk to him like that okay well then you're gonna have to think think some kind of other way in which you can send love to them uh, right where they are just think loving thoughts if you can't do that what's what's our new policy and our rule we can't do that we don't do nothing we just send love to ourselves which will in turn old rainbow send it to them my mom gave me a new i didn't know that about rainbows i gotta look that up but she said the other day she watched about rainbows say rainbows are actually they're not an arch rainbows are actually a circle so it comes right back to the starting point so that's interesting. So when you send that love, like I told you all before, when you send that love over there to them over the rainbow, that love come right back around and comes right back, boomerang right back to you. So sometimes like, I can't do that. He in the situation, you know, that's his thing. Let him go on here and deal with that himself. I ain't doing nothing. Well, guess what? When you doing that, guess what? You send that same flow of that energy over there to him and it's coming right on back to you and say, what out? Right upside the head because it's coming back to you. So you might as well say, I might as well just send him love then. Send him love in the situation. So he can come right on back to me and say, ooh, why that heart chakra feel like it open? I feel love to myself. Okay? When I send love over to him, guess what? That's what's going on. Just like the infinity sign flowing that way too. Okay? Uh, let's see. Did he say anything back? I'm trying to say, oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs>
Okay, so. Uh, next thing I want to do is, I want to see these cars overall. Clear. I ain't seeing about what you got to surrender. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Just one car, please. What's the overall theme? What's the overall energy for him? One car, please. Thank you. Lilies. Those are my favorite besides roses. Really, lilies come first and then roses. Okay, lilies, card number 30. So we coming in Trinity in the cycle, getting ready. Star, star back in one. Yeah, yeah. So we're closing up some things. It's undeniable. All right, here we go. Calm, peace, and serenity. So this is what he's trying to what He wants some calm and some peace right now and serenity. Is what I preach. Your parents and elders show up under my symbol. So several things come to mind. He's either working out some things, um, ancestral family healing, some family things, or clearing up some bloodlines as well. Well, so as uh, I'm thinking about also some ancestors are helping him as well as he's trying to make this breakthrough from this situation. I bring wisdom and experience. I signify a long-term relationship or ancestry, contentment, and satisfaction. That's what I picked up. The literally from a pagan view is symbolic of sexuality and passion, but also of purity. That goes back to everything I just read. That's the overall theme there about the children, about him saying he wants you. Uh, that thing as well, uh, and the passion said there early. As a result, these calm looking uh, flowers with a glass engraved background reflect a range of interpretation that they are both growing and yet eternally captured in smooth glass without any of their essence shows the two sides of this card. We might suggest that they are range of excitement. That's why you say playfulness, that playfulness card. Sexual nurturing or the absence of that excitement and chastity. As a card, these lilies make the cards about them pure, simple, or excite their nature. A combination of such as lilies, we ain't got all that extra stuff there. So this right now is really, he's really in the state of trying to make things right and kind of clean things up, make it back pure. Pure is white and snow, <laughs> like snow white, okay? Uh, what is, that's the overall thing, and then also, clear, what does he want to say, what does the DM want to say to you, to the Divine Feminine? Now you about to come out, come on. Demonstrate love, find out what is important to the people you love and act on it, so that's for yourself, what so is the people around you, and what so is for the DM as well, Okay. Honesty is essential. To be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully and in a, a loving manner. To me, that looks like that comes to this again, where he's going to come towards you. And honesty, to me, was just like purely not coming with no false, no wearing of no extra skin, no clothing. Uh, you see here in the water, your spirituality, your emotions is coming there really pure and clean, just being honest, okay? Love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts. That goes back to this and provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. Choose love. You always have a choice as to what you should do. Like I said, no matter what, choose love in this whole situation. What he's going through, he's showing you here. Just regardless, do that. And then have patience. Love is patient and kind. Love is patient. Love. Love. A word that comes and goes. But few people really know what it means to really love somebody. Okay. That's it. All right. Love. So that is it on my reading. I gave you my spiel in the beginning. So uh, until next time, stay uplifted, stay motivated, stay ascending. Namaste. Namago. Love you.